Uh, hi, this is Fibre, and uh, we're now in Hasselt, and we're going to uh, have a show here at uh, tonight at the uh, Paul Slag. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, Fibre is the title of your new project and your new album. Um, in an interview, well, actually, it was more like uh, a review. I read it was an evocation of the music sounds intense and anxious yet luminous. Is that a good way to describe uh, your music? Uh, maybe, if you, if you think so, yes. How would you describe uh, the music that Fever A makes? Uh, I don't... I, I think it's, it differs a lot from day to day, I think. Um, it's it's some kind of slow electronic and analog music. <laughs> I don't know. It, okay. yeah. um, in my personal experience, I found it a bit weird music at first, but then I, I kept listening to it. Do you think that is what mostly happens to people who hear your music for the first time? I don't know. I don't know. I think... Um, but I, I guess it's a very nice thing if you if you want to go back to it and listen to it again. That's uh, that's uh, that's something good, I, th I think. But it it sounds like sad music actually. But is it sad music to you, or is there much more in it? I I don't think of it so much as sad. Um, because it's, I think, since I, it's uh, something that I have worked with for so long and in so many different ways. I think when when making an album, so I think if if it if something started out like sad, I think when you finally worked it through, it's not sad anymore afterwards. I think it's it's a lot of bright moments and hope uh, as well. I think on the album, so. I think it's uh, quite happy music, yeah. Um, you went through a lot to come to Fever A. I mean, you had a lot of projects in the past. How did music evolve for you? I, I, I think you just need a lot of... I think when you work with music and when you work with art, you just need a lot of time, really, and be too... F and to stay focused on what you do and just spend as much time as possible working and then finally there's hopefully something comes out of it so I, I don't think so much about what I have done before I, I, I think what I find interesting about this work is to to find new challenges and to find things and to do things that I haven't done before just for me to uh, continue finding difficult things to, to work with I think that's what I find interesting about this And what was your biggest challenge uh, while working on the new project Fever A? I think all, all album uh, projects are very heavy and difficult to finalize it. That's, that's a difficult part. I mean, it's easy to get ideas about tracks and it's easy to start working on tracks, but it's very, I think that's the, the hard thing is to know when it's finished and to know when to quit and just to um, be... Uh, mature and uh, smart enough to know when when it's done and uh, do you feel it's done right now fever a do you feel like you have um, met up with what you wanted to accomplish I think I, I am I am happy with the album but now after the album we started the live project so I think that's what I am working with now uh, it's uh, like steady developing the live show and uh, to see what happens on stage and to see how especially then how visuals and how music affects each other and um, that's very interesting I think to to do the to work with the performance part of the music so you're still searching your way um, 
life on stage? Absolutely. I don't think you ever, you shouldn't like come to an end and this is it. <laughs> Because that's very boring. I think it's something that is steady developing. Um, also in an, in, in an interview, <laughs> excuse my English, um, in an interview I read that um, you um, had a baby recently and um, in the periods after you gave birth um, was one of the most um, fertile, how do you say, um, periods for you to write music. How did you experience that period? Um, I, I have, I have, it wasn't the first time I had a kid because I had two kids and um, and I, I, I think I think it's important for people to, um, especially for women, because the most standard uh, situation for women who have kids it's that they stay at home, and I, I think it's it's uh, very necessary to stand up for my. I have two daughters and and uh, continue to work and to be a, a role model for them and to let them know that. Uh, They also can have um, jobs and uh, work when they are when they are old. So I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I just, I like to work with music, and I just continue. I, it's, it's not a big thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to search my uh, questions because I don't have them all memorized. Oh yeah. Um, Uh, I was looking um, who your idols were when you uh, were younger or when you started out with music and um, I found out two two artists Cindy Lauper and um, Guns N' Roses and it really really yeah it shook me how can you follow Cindy Lauper and Guns N' Roses and how do they relate to your music I think they both have a very, very strong visual and uh, visual pro approach and a very like uh, strong performance uh, part of their artistship. Like um, uh, so, I don't think they are so. They are have quite different kind of music, but they have uh, they are great performers both. And. Uh, Well, it's hard to say how what you can find of that in my music nowadays, but I, I think the like the strong uh, like visual approach is is one thing. But um, there are two completely different artists. Can we um, conclude that you your taste in music is very wide? Uh, yes, it's it's very 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 wide. <laughs> It goes from to. I, I listen to everything that is good. <laughs> no, I, I'm not into any genre specifically, but I mean, sometimes uh, guitar music can be very experimental and interesting, but maybe most of the time electronic music is more free. Uh, but yeah, I, I think... Um, You, you you can find good things in in uh, many in all kinds of music but you can express yourself the best in in electronical music uh, i think this on this album we have actually used quite a lot of analog uh, equipment as well but i i i really like the programmed uh, programmed music with the monotone and re the re repetitive feeling so so um That's that's what that's how I like it at the moment. Um, for last question, what was or can you can you name something that was like a, a really big uh, inspiration for you at one time in your musical career? I, I don't think of it as a career. I don't think of it that way at all. I I, uh, I just continue working, and uh, that's that's what I do. I mean, I, I think we we got very happy when we got to release uh, records outside Sweden. That was nice, and to be able to do the live show that we're doing now, I'm very happy for that. It's it's 
it's so it's very fun and it's uh, it's so great to see like experimenting with the live performance I, I really like that so but I don't see it as like steps in a career or so no. okay. uh, last question where does the future for uh, Fever A lies uh, I don't think so much about the future. I know this year we will be doing shows and like festivals in Europe this summer and we're going to the US uh, after summer and then we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank